Hi everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. I'm doing a bit of an experiment this evening. Um, I did this pour behind me recently. It's two puddles straight pour on a round 40 centimetre round canvas. As I was pouring it, as I was tilting it, all I could think was it just looks like the earth. If this were in blues and greens and whites, it would look like the world, the, the globe. So that's what I'm going to try tonight. So it might work, might not work. Um, but I'm going to basically use greens, blues, whites and a bit of gold for the earthy colour. Because if you look at an aerial photograph of the earth, you do have some sort of light browny colour in there, which is actually quite similar to gold. Um, so as an experiment, who knows if it will work. So let me show you the colours I've chosen for this. So this is what I'm going to use. So Montmartre Gold, De La Rowney Graduate Acrylic Sap Green, two Pebio Studio Acrylics colours. I've got Prussian Blue and I've got Iridescent Green Yellow. I've got Amsterdam Thalo Green, Amsterdam Thalo Blue, and then Royal and Langnickel White. So this white creates very, very um, celly effects, very fluffy effects within the paint. So I just thought that would be absolutely perfect for the clouds because the, the, the earth is obviously covered in, well, often covered in a lot of clouds. Um, then if you look at the globe, you've got a lot of deep blue. So I've got the Prussian blue and then the phthalo blue. Now, this is opaque. This one here is transparent. So I think this one will show a bit less. And these two dark green colours are also transparent. So I'm adding three greens, but two out of three of them are transparent. So I think they'll show less. And also I'm using, I've measured up my, my paint already and I've got less of the three greens than I have of the two blues. And I've got the most of the white. Um, so it's just an experiment. Fingers crossed it, it goes OK. Um, everything is mixed with PVA glue and water. And I will put the, the recipe in the description of this video for you. For this pour, I'm going to layer up just one cup. I want it to be a single puddle straight pour. The I, I'm going to alternate the greens and the blues. Um, and I've obviously got the gold, the white. I've got to use it reasonably sparingly because it can totally take over. I kind of want that in some ways because I want it to look like the earth is covered in or wrapped in some clouds. But at the same time, it, it can really take over. So I've just got to be really careful. Um, the very centre of the puddle, I want to be white and fluffy because I want it to look like um, the Antarctic where you've, you've, it's covered in, covered in white. So I'm going to put some of the white at the bottom of the cup. So the bottom of the cup will be the centre of the puddle. Right, that's definitely very earthy looking. So I'll move these out of the way and then I'll get my canvas, which is down here. So the canvas is a 40 centimeter round canvas. I've hammered in the large push pins. I just get those from Amazon. Um, I've also sprayed the back of the canvas because it's round. I find round, round canvas is really quite saggy. So I've just, um, sprayed it and it just tightens the canvas which is um which makes it just much more elastic and bouncy feeling um i'm just thinking about a little puddle to pour this into i think i'm just going to put down some of this blue um, i'd like the center of the puddle to end up off center but I've got the whole of the canvas to cover. I think what I'm going to do is pour the pour the puddle in the centre, and then it will all be in the tilting, and um, to get the composition that I want. So I will tilt it in all directions, and then move the centre back to where I want it. I think. Now, I have just no idea if this will work. I'm very nervous about the white because it just takes over in, in other pores. And if it takes over, it just it looks awful. But I kind of want it to on this one. 
so um who knows i've got a big cup of paint here for this canvas which is great so i can really control the uh, the composition i can tip bits off i'm not happy with equally if i know i've got far too much paint i can stop before i get to the end so lots of options so i've just got to see see how it goes so right straight pour You can see as that white's coming out, you can see it's already started making some unusual sort of cells and patterns in this in the cup. I've got a good section of white there in the centre, which I'm happy about. Ah, I've dripped dripped try and catch your drips because you don't want that to happen oh i'm gonna leave it for now right let's torch it so i think i've gone a little bit heavy on the gold that would be my first impression so a bit heavy on the gold not not enough of the blue maybe we'll see I'm just thinking I might put a little bit of flow extender down. Right, so first of all, I'm going to just stretch it a little bit just to try and get the, the canvas covered, just pushing it to the edge without rolling over. Right, I really like this white section here. So I think if I can just go off over that edge first, but just very slowly, I reckon I can probably keep most of that white. So what I am thinking, the centre I'm loving, absolutely love the centre. There's definitely icebergs, there's all sorts going on there. Um, I don't like this splodge here where I dripped and I think there's too much gold. So I think I'm now going to stretch it to try and lose this bit and some of this. I've got so much paint on here, I can do that. I've got, I, I've got plenty that to lose, which is good. So I'm going to just very carefully get rid of that bit that I dripped. Wow. I think that is it. 
I'm done. Love it. You've definitely got ice here and actually at the bottom. You've definitely got lots of sea, a little bit of land. Oh, I love it. This has worked. I'm really, really pleased. This is this has definitely worked. There's turquoise in it. Where's the turquoise come from? So it must be the lighter blue and on oh, one of the greens, I'm not sure which one. But there's quite a big band of turquoisey colour and tealy colour in there. Really happy. Right, let me get you in for a close up. I honestly, honestly think at first glance, it does look like the Earth from outer space. It really does. You definitely, I mean, you definitely achieved what I wanted to in the centre. So the um, Antarctic, and it's off to one corner. So it gives you the sort of perspective of a slight tilt um, in the Earth. I think you've definitely got some ice down here again. Um, you've got just the right amount of gold to show some deserty land. You've got a bit of green, um, but mostly blue. I'm so happy with it. Just let me show you this bit first. This is where the transparency of paints is just incredible because can you see they are just the colours are just all overlapping. It is just such a jumble of colours and even this edge. Now, what what colour is that? One of the greens with the white over it. I don't know. You you can and the blue. You can see all the colours in one area. Um, so I often think my, my cells created from this white look like boulders. This time they're definitely icebergs. Um, so, so happy. Um, so if you go over here, you've got, this is where it all starts to mix. So you've got um, some turquoise, some gold, so some land mixed with the sea and then a bright blue sea here. Um, I wonder which ocean that is then. And then again, you've got, I think, some more icebergs at the bottom um i just think it works so well on the round canvas oh i'm excited i really hope it dries like this right i'll be back when it's dry here's the dry result i'm so happy with it it's it's just it definitely definitely to me looks like the world um, now, I've had a bit of a geography lesson since pouring this, and I now know that actually the northernmost point is the Arctic, not the Antarctic. So I think I was referring to this as the Antarctic. It's not. It's the Arctic. Um, and then the Antarctic is at the bottom there. Um, so I, I, I'm just amazed by this section, really, how it just it, it's just so interesting. I don't really know what to say about it. It's just so fascinating so interesting it's got that real cloud-like appearance that i was wanting or ice appearance um look at these tiny little cells within the larger cells um i love how um the colors just blend and that's because of the transparency of the colors um it is a reasonably dark painting i think that would be my criticism um i would think i would have preferred it to turn out a little bit lighter than this um, but I think you've got just the right amount of gold in there for some of the land. You've got some of the green. Um, I think overall, though, it's it's I've achieved what I wanted, which was a globe, a, a planet Earth. Um, so I am really, really happy with it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think. Leave me comments um, and do subscribe to my channel. Great. I hope you're all having a brilliant weekend. Bye.